on this James bike guy, we're checking out an aluminum fitness bike that stays affordable by running rim brakes rather than discs. That's right, we're checking out the 2021 Giant Escape 3, and we're gonna go into the features and designs of this bike, and then we'll find out exactly what it weighs. Giant's Escape series of hybrid bikes falls into the category of a fitness commuter. And what that is, is really a bike that's designed to be able to ride really well on the road, have some eyelets and some carrier points to be able to add things like fenders and racks, and focus mostly on pavement while still having a tire that's thick enough that on rough roads, potholes, or even a little bit of dirt, you're gonna have some control. Now the Escape series comes in a bunch of different levels, and this being the Escape 3 is gonna be the least expensive version and it bucks the trend of most bikes going to disc brakes, which is where they have a brake down at the center of the wheel around the hub by rather having a rim brake set up. Now this style of brake has been around for a really long time and it functions and works really well, but most bikes these days are going to discs, which adds some all weather effectiveness as well as a bit more control when you're riding a bike with a lot of weight on it. But here, those rim brakes help save some cost and you'll see later when we put it on a scale, it actually helps to save some weight as well. Diving further into the Giant's Escape, we should check out this frame. This is made out of their ALU XX grade aluminum. And the frame itself is gonna be formed aluminum tubing. It's got pretty nice looking welds to it. And then on the back here, you can see the rack and then the fender mounts like we talked about before the mount up top to be able to add that stuff as well. Features like having a bolt-on seat clamp, which is gonna help keep it more theft resistant. And then up front, you'll even have some nice features like internal headset bearings to help for a clean look and be a bit more durable while it still runs the more basic external cable routing. So on a lot of bikes, they'll have these cables go inside the frame, but Giant is really able to keep the value on this bike by running the cables externally rather than putting them inside, which helps keep the frame cost down and it also keeps a bit of the maintenance cost down. And attaching the wheel to the front of the bike is a steel fork. This fork is gonna be made out of a high tensile steel. You can tell that it's steel because it's got a little bit different weld. You see how those are, are stacked small little dimes versus the big globs on the aluminum? different material choice and they're going to use steel on a bike like this because that's going to help the front end be a little more forgiving it also reduces a bit of cost but it's still going to run your fender mounts as well so you've got mounts for those of course quick release both on the front and the rear make taking the wheels on and off easy and then post mount for those rim brakes cockpit components on the bike going to be a bit more standard though I'm very happy to see they've got this shop peened black finish to them. This is going to be the Giant Sport flat handlebar. They do call it a flat handlebar even though there's a tiny little kink of rays there and then it's going to go through this aluminum stem to a 25.4 millimeter bar clamp. Turning out back is the Giant Sport saddle which has a nice relief down the center and then some decent cushion on the saddle as well. And then this is gonna be mounted up on a 27.2 alloy seat post with a single bolt design to be able to adjust the angle of the saddle. Drivetrain wise, we've got some basic but functional gearing. This is gonna be a three by seven drivetrain. So that means that in the back, we've got seven speeds there and three up front. The three up front are on an alloy crank set going through a square taper threaded bottom bracket so the bottom bracket is the bearing system in the center here that these crank arms attach to. Threaded square taper is a real durable, slightly heavier, but real durable way to do it. And then a Shimano Tourney front derailleur. So this front derailleur is gonna shift through those three gears in the front and out back. It's got a pretty unique rear derailleur. This is the MicroShift 26C rear derailleur. This is a direct competitor to the Shimano Tourney system and MicroShift makes some good quality stuff and believe it or not, they shift decent as well. Of course, the seven speeds in back is gonna be a freewheel system. So a freewheel means that the gears here carry the ratcheting mechanism. 
So that clicking noise that you hear as it goes through, that's being carried in the gears rather than the hub, makes for a more simple setup. And this is a 14 to 28 tooth Sunrun freewheel. Shifting those gears is also gonna be a micro shift setup. This is a micro shift index shifter. So it uses a thumb button down below to bring you to an easier gear and you can see the indicator move on screen. And then just in front of that button is another one that you can click, which is gonna put it back down into harder gear. So two buttons up and down, right is for the rear gears, the left operates the front gears. And then there's alloy levers driving our cable operated rim brakes. So these rim brakes grab right onto the rim. They use a rubber pad to slow down on this aluminum braking surface and they should stop the bike just fine. The wheel set on the bike is gonna be pretty solid utilizing some alloy double walled rims. So these rims have two arch shapes inside which should help keep them stronger. You can see they're 32 spoke laced with nice brass nipples which are gonna help with the durability. And then the tire system itself are the giant SX2 tires. These are a flat resistant tire, 700C in diameter, running 38 millimeters of tire width. And this width is just wide enough that on rough and chunky roads, it's gonna be nice and comfortable, but thin enough that it should be fast and efficient so that the tires aren't gonna be slowing you down. The actual weight for the Giant Escape 3 comes in and weighs 28.82 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Giant Escape 3. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, please hit that thumbs up button and make sure you click subscribe so that way you can see more videos like this in the future.